Hi, my name is Brad Kane, and with me is Eric Klopper, and together we are working on the Equal Protection Project for GALDEF. Yes, and this is a very exciting project. It is one of the first uh, statewide challenges to ensure that all children are protected from genital mutilation, not just females, which is the status quo in about 30 states right now. Right, and what the Equal Protection Project does is we're going to be challenging these laws under the state constitution. Now, of course, we support protecting females from uh, general mutilation. The point is that the floor should be raised so that male infants and children have the same level of protection. And to illustrate the value of this approach, uh, when I used to teach legal studies, we had a hypothetical that we would give to the class called no vehicles in the park. And each person was their own state Supreme Court. You ask them the question, well, does no vehicles in the park mean no ambulances, no people who have disabilities in wheelchairs? Can the police cars come through? And what you found is invariably somebody, some members of the group came to opposite conclusions. And so we're hoping to get the first wins where uh, laws only banning female genital mutilation are found to violate the equal protection rights of male children and infants. Yeah, in the various states across the union. And just for a little additional context, everyone's familiar with the federal constitution, First Amendment, freedom of speech, Second Amendment, guns, and so forth. Well, each state has their own constitution as well. And a lot of those states have what's called an equal rights amendment, whereas states cannot discriminate on the basis of gender. And so if that state has a law on the books, which is admirable, called an anti-female genital mutilation law, which prohibit, prohibits the genital mutilation of females, well, what our firm would look to do is challenge that on constitutional grounds, say, look, it's a great law, but on its face, it discriminates on the basis of gender. Therefore, it is unconstitutional per your state's constitution. And as such, to keep this law on the books, as you should, you need to raise the floor and protect all children equally. And so those those type of challenges are what we're going to be pursuing. Right, but I want to clarify something. It's okay. not just states that have an equal rights amendment. Mm -hmm. It's due process, equal protection. So mm -hmm. even if they don't have a, a, a equal rights amendment establishing men and women are equal, under the equal protection clauses of the state constitution, mm -hmm. we would be bringing challenges. Exactly. And what that equal protection means is different for each state, just like a vehicle might be an ambulance, might be a cop car, might be a bicycle, depending. And so America is the great judicial laboratory with over 51 jurisdictions. And one of those is going to protect all children from genital mutilation, and we are going to find it. So if you support this challenge as well, then definitely subscribe to GALDEF's newsletter, subscribe to mine, um, donate what you can, whether it be uh, resources, attention, you name it, because this is going to be a group effort. We may be the primary attorneys involved at the start, but we're recruiting um, everybody who wants to make the world a better place for all children. So, you know. We look forward to working with you. Thank you.